In this quick tutorial, we're going to link dimensions to global variables to drive the simple flanged bushing here. We'll start by setting up global variables for the bushing's outer diameter, inner diameter, and height. We'll then link the variables to their associated dimensions. And finally, we'll test our model to make sure the dimensions are working correctly. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notifications about future tutorials. Our first step is going to be to create our global variables. To open up our equations window, we're going to go to tools and then select equations. The global variables are entered here on the top. So we will enter them from the table shown here. So we have our bushing height, which we are going to set to 35. We have our inner diameter, which we are going to set to 50. And we have our flange diameter which we are going to set to 100. And we'll hit OK. Now let's link the variables to our dimensions. So I'm going to double click on the flange outer edge here to bring up that dimension, which is right here. So we're going to double click on the dimension backspace to clean out the dimensional value, add an equal sign, and then select the flange diameter, and hit the green checkbox, and hit the green checkbox again to close out the window. So we now see that the dimension has a red sigma in front of it signifying that it's now a linked dimension. We'll do the same for the ID. So we'll double click on the inner surface, select the inner diameter, again, backspace, equal, and select our inner diameter. Hit the green checkbox to link the dimension and close out the window. And our last dimension is going to be our height here. So we'll double click there. And again, we're going to link it to the bushing height. And hit the green checkbox and close out the window. Now that we've linked all of our dimensions, let's test the model by opening up our global variables and changing them. So again, we're going to go to Tools, Equations, and let's change our bushing height to be 50. And you can see that our model is actually updating dynamically as we change each variable. We'll change our inner diameter to 75. And we'll change our flange diameter to 125. And we'll hit OK. And our bushing has updated. Global variables are a truly amazing tool in SOLIDWORKS. They allow you to quickly and dynamically change your model. For a more in-depth example of the power of global variables, I highly recommend that you check out my course on LinkedIn Learning which is linked in the description below, where we use global variables to drive the geometry for the teeth of a spur gear. Thank you again for watching, and remember to like and subscribe.